Welcome back to Blar. This is my roster in addition to current roster of Marvel vs. Capcom fighting series. This is for if Marvel vs. Capcom 4 ever makes it uh, to production. So let's check out my list and leave your list in the comments below. Thanks for watching. So let's start with the Marvel lineup. First up we have Titania who has high durability and strength, the rival She-Hawk. Next we have Moon Knight, Olympic level athlete, uses a variety of weapons. Green Goblin, of course, likes his pumpkin bombs. His glider also possesses superhuman strength and reflexes. Kang, while no superhuman abilities, he's a genius and his armor and his tech lets him use a variety of weapons to defeat his opponent. Daredevil, the man without fear, of course, great hand to hand fighter who's expert in many martial arts and will have his signature baton. The Punisher, enough said. The Thing, Ben Grimm from Fantastic Four. Great strength and durability. Hyperion from the Squadron Supreme. Hyperion is pretty much Marvel Superman, complete with heat, I mean atomic vision that allows him to shoot heat rays from his eyes. Human Torch, another Fantastic Four member, can of course can of course shoot fire and go supernova. Last but not least for the Marvel side, we have Mystique, a shape shifting mutant, who is a cunning fighter in martial arts, firearms, and bladed weapons. So that is it for the Marvel side. On the Capcom roster, we have Sagat, the Muay Thai champion, with his devastating tiger uppercut and tiger knees. D Dark, or Doctrine Dark, from Street Fighter EX Alpha Series, uses blades and other gadgets, uh, wires and bombs. Uh, T-Hawk, tough, grumpy, and cold, standing at seven foot seven. Strong guy with power grabs and slams. Rolento, Military trained fighter, equipped with his baton and grenades. Dimitri, vampire from Darkstalkers who can attack with supernatural bats and shapeshift. Alex from Street Fighter 3, a big strong character with shoulder blocks and drop kicks. Blanca, of course has electricity along with his roll attacks and bites. Crimson Viper has her fire kicks and electrified punches to deal out damage. Laura, a newcomer, one of the only characters I really liked from Street Fighter 5. Uh, she's a fast grappler, also has a zoning lightning attack. And Zaki from Project Justice, or with her chain, she can release a number of attacks along with her strong kicks. So that is my roster for Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Again, this would be on top of like the current roster. These are all characters we haven't seen in this series that I think would fit in a fighting game. Thanks for watching, Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are, and put your list in the comments.